Well, today I'm starting to assemble my very first Tron 5.5 helicopter. It came in a decent box, well packaged. Manual comes out pretty good. Actual pictures of the assemblies, uh, Loctite called out where needed, the measurements, like most typical manuals. Um, all of your typical sub assemblies are already pre packaged in um, plastic bags. Um, they already got the screws already put in there. This makes assembly much faster. All you have to do is just unassemble it and then put Loctite on it. Double check just to make sure all the washers and stuff are there per the manual and then put it together. Like as far as the head, this head and the swash plate only took me a few minutes. I found that the thrust bearings actually did already have grease in them. Um, I had to go back and Loctite everything else. One of the quick things and easy ways to actually help your hands out um, you know, everybody, when making these things, your hands get so tired. Well, because it's got the little box on there to help you. You can actually chuck it in your drill and do one side nice and slowly. You'll still have to do the other side because it doesn't quite work on the other way, but that will save time and make it easier. So what you can do, I believe Fat Boy, uh, the person who I got this helicopter from the company, does sell um, something similar to this where you can put your ball link into there and then turn it which does do a lot to save your hands. So far so good. Most of the frame is assembled pretty easily. One thing you want to take note of is there's a lot of little screws and some of them are varying sizes. One of the things that I find really handy is if you purchase something like this, a Ryobi hand drill, hand drill and um, make sure that it has the adjustable ratchet so you put it all the way down low. That way you don't strip out anything you're screwing into. Um, the grommets that are used on the canopy are extremely squishy. They're really nice. The tail boom goes together pretty easily. The main head and all that goes together pretty good. Um, I just have electronics and I just got to finish tidying up the wires thing out where I want to go. You know, trying to make this thing as light as possible so it's just a beast. A lot of fun. So now that I've assembled the mainframe and the tail assembly and the head assembly, I got it all put together. Some of the nice things about this kit is that it's a stacked frame. If you ever crash your helicopter, typically what you're gonna damage is your struts. You're typically gonna damage your struts and possibly the lower frame. The lower frame only has eight bolts holding it together. You got two on the landing gear and you got four up there. So it's much easier to replace. Also, it's a little bit more cost effective than placing one huge sheet of carbon fiber, but a lot of it has to do with time. You don't have to take all of your meat and potatoes off up here to replace everything. You just four bolts, you're done. Um, some of the nice things about this is also they have uh, cutouts so you can run your wires internally and do your zip ties all the way up to the front. Um, your ESC is mounted on a platform. It's got two bolts on each side. If for some reason you take off your ESC, you take two bolts, two bolts out on each end or just two, you can flop it open, take a four out and you can pull it off. Uh, Another nice thing about this kit is it does have a battery tray that goes into these two metal grooves in here and this nice solid locking mechanism there so you know your battery is firmly held in place. Like a lot of the newer kits out there, boom supports are going away. This is using a hexagonal type uh, tail boom. This is uh, makes me think about to what is that the Robo X spec back in the day, 90 size helicopter, beautiful machine, lots of power. Um, so they came out with a hexagonal tail then, which performed great. Typically when you crash, your boom gets damaged and then your boom supports. Well, that's extra parts gone, that's extra weight gone, it's also an extra cost savings to you. Um, this machine has a belt driven tail. The nice thing about a belt driven tail, um, anybody that's autoing or comes in for kind of a little bit of rough landing, if you land flat, your uh, tail fin will save your tail blades typically. But if you come in at a slight angle, pulling backwards, your tail blades are gonna hit the ground. Now, for some people that doesn't matter, but you know, you chip off one of these tail blades, sometimes that's the difference of you flying the rest of the week with your friends at the fun flyer, not having parts. So some things I usually run, is usually, I wind up running the KVD uh, tail blades are plastic, because you can just dig a trench with those things and just, scratch off the plastic early and keep flying the rest of the weekend. Buy yourself a new pair and be good for the next time you go flying. So one of the nice things about when you order a helicopter from Fatboy Heli Products, they include a set of main blades and tail blades for this kit. Um, right now, house brand is called Victor. They're changing that out to Fatboy Heli Products for the logo. For the logo. 
I also have Victor Servos on this, uh, running the FSO 391HV for the cyclic, and I'm running the FSO 391THV for the tail. So far, I've been very reliable and durable. Um, I am running an X Nova Lightning Series. It's a 4020, 1200 kV motor. This is actually the smaller motor for this machine. He carries two different size motors. This is the lower kV, a little bit more efficient. But for my flying style, I'm a I'm a, I'm a smooth 3D pilot. I'm not extremely hard. I mean, I love TikToks, pyro flips, doing stuff like that. But this will do all that and a uh, little bit lower temperature, a little bit longer flight lo flight time. Powering that is a Hobby Wing uh, Platinum. 120 amp ESC with built-in BEC. I'm running at uh, high voltage straight to everything. Um, six cell, 5,000 milliamp battery pack power in this beast. Flight times vary depending on your head speed, of course. Uh, one of the nice things that comes with this is nuclear orange canopy. Uh, I can't say enough about bright colors. So I used to fly a Raptor E700. It was a great machine, but the canopy was blue and white. When you look up in that sky, you see a beautiful blue color and you see white. On a semi, a little bit more, more clouds of blue and white up there, it can get lost. Likewise, down here in the green, you want something that pops awesome. This fluorescent orange pops up both in the sky and down towards the ground. You can't confuse it with other, other uh, colors. They also come with a fluorescent yellow and a fluorescent green. The fluorescent green is dynamite. Fluorescent yellow is pretty good too. Um, but. It makes it a very high viz, easy to see when you're out there flying, which is very important for anybody who's beginning. As of right now, everything is stock length. All the servo wires are stock length. The ESC wires are stock length. I'm hoping to be able to show what the all up weight of this machine is right here. And the reason why that's important is I can get away, get away with a little bit less of a power hungry uh, motor, a little bit less of a heavier duty machine because it's got a lighter disc loading. A lighter disc loading gives you more of a, a well, it gives you, it makes it feel more powerful in the air than what it actually is. You know, you can do harder stops. You can do a lot of stuff, even with a lower KV motor, all because your disc loading is so light compared to some other machines. If you guys wind up seeing me at a fun fly and you want to take a look at this machine, just hit me up and ask. I'll be more than happy to pull the canopy off and let you take a look at it. See what you think about it. I know there's several people out there that are flying this machine and loving it, and more each day are trying them out. They're good quality. As most of you know, the biggest enemy when you crash is getting parts and you get them in a timely fashion so you can get back up in air. One thing nice about Fatboy Heli products is they carry all the parts and they have a big stockpile. They ship every day, they get it out the door. Also, if you buy the helicopter from them, many of the tails come free with the helicopter. And on top of that, I believe on their website, they say you get a certain percentage off for like, I don't know how, if a year or the rest of the year or something like that on parts cost. So get out there and fly. Hey, I want to say thank you to the person who always gives me a thumbs down within the first 15 minutes of my video popping up. I know you subscribe because every time it pops up, you get a notification. And I appreciate you subscribe. To everybody else, thank you for the likes. Subscribe, just like the other person did that gives the thumbs down. Have a great day. Get out here in this beautiful weather. Get some flying. Let that work problems drift away.